Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ceftech. How are you guys doing today? How's life? I have spent maybe the last two hours just looking for this, a mulberry tree. And thankfully, we got a sapling. The problem is that this tree that we were looking for is incredibly rare. You cannot find it in plains apparently because it spawns within other trees. So you have to go to a forest. You might be wondering Lush, why didn't you check the forest next to your base? That's the problem. Everything is already yellow. We're going to need 16 barks in order to make 4 parchments. I did manage to grow it once, but unfortunately I ran out of bone meal. Instead of bone meal, we can also use fertilizer from actually addition using bio mash. Uh, it is something that we have to look into very soon. But for the moment, let us get the barks. We need to soak it in water and we will get the soaked bark. And then we need to start drying it up. And by the way, did I mention that we're going to need 16? We don't have that many items to compost, but um, I did have some hemp seeds. Maybe we can use those. And that is going to take like 3 minutes. And the mulberry pulps are also ready. We need to make the sheet and then press it using our horse, which is not here for some reason. Get back to work. Once we get this, we should be able to make one parchment and the astral tome. So the final thing that we need to craft in order to unlock the next age is the luminous crafting table, which is actually not going to be as difficult as you would think because I think we already have some PE in the pedestal. We just need to charge it up. I think we're done. We only need 1000. Yes, we are going to need four aqua marine, two marble, and this one is from chisel. It's not from astral sorcery, but it says any marble. And we also need two reinforced slates. And the other one is here. I honestly hope that this works because we don't have access to any kind of marble except this one. But we shall know soon enough. Yes, it does. Lag. Welcome to H2. The best news is we're going to have access to iron and that is good and we're also going to get access to tinkers but we also need to go to the between lands which is not something that i'm looking forward to all right guys here's the deal we did unlock iron and we can get iron tools and we can start progressing really fast but the thing is i'm basically living off the land and this is my house so we need to change some stuff before we can progress further so basically what i think we should do is that we're going to go and start finding iron this is a quest and see if there is any chance of processing it because i don't think we can smelt down iron using coal and we need to use lava we should be able to make a clay bucket and start processing iron but i'm not exactly sure if it's going to work oh and by the way this plump shows you your y level and this is iron hematite are you down there here yes oh we have found iron Yes! This is so slow. <laughs> it's not in a very ideal location. There is a cave. We go down. Oh, there's lava. I was going to say that as long as there are no creepers, we are fine, but there was one over here. I'm thinking we have 20 hearts and the only thing that can sneak up on me is a creeper. So we won't die. I can just do my mining and go home. He has iron armor and an iron sword. And I have garbage. Alright guys, I'm back from my mining session and we are filthy rich on iron. We have 8 stacks and 38, which is very good. The sad news is we cannot smelt it down in a melter using solid fuel. We need to have lava. And I do understand that this heater is empty, but even if you put fuel, it's not melting it. So our main priority will be to try and get some lava. And I think for that we need to just make a tank. But the tank itself is not going to be enough because eventually we are going to need a bucket. And I think for the moment we should be able to make clay buckets. So obviously we are going to need a turntable. Also before we start using the turntable there is something that you guys need to know. These axles that you see over here are relatively expensive because you are going to need a black quartz. But since we have advanced to the next age there is another recipe which is unlocked. But unfortunately this recipe is not working. Because here is the molding, here is the rope. And nothing happens so i'm not exactly sure what to do because this recipe is incredibly expensive and this one is not working even if you do it like that anyway that is something that we have to worry about much later for the moment we need buckets we just put you on top right is that a bucket yeah it is a bucket <laughs> okay also i do understand that everything looks incredibly messy but the thing is i'm in the middle of redecoration so of course for the moment everything looks garbage i can't cook it on that Oh yeah, I can. Okay, good. We have our buckets, we take the tank, we take the horse, and we go. Yes, there was a lava pool over here. What happened? I hate you. That is the only thing which is left from my horse. 
and the saddle, obviously. I know that these guys only have a one-time use, but I'm hoping that at least we can pick up lava. We can. And we have four buckets. Maybe this time we take a white horse? He has more health. Stop being a jerk. This is actually really good because this guy is faster and he has more health. I like him. Or her. Okay, now that we have the lava, we can break you and put the tank. So, can we smelt down iron? Yes. But we don't want to smelt it right now because we want to start making an actual bucket. There is a stone bucket which we can use in order to make a cast and I have melted down some clay. So we should be able to make a cast. Can I pick it up? Yes. Because we are doing this, we might as well try to make two buckets. Oh, we also have access to Tinker's tools. Oh, interesting. Let's make the bucket first. You would really think that this should be an achievement. But it's not. Oh, actually it is. We just have to go to the between lands, but uh, we haven't done that yet. Since we have access to tinkers, we might as well try to make the parts. We need a stencil table, a pattern chest, and a part builder. We're going to make a pick, a shovel, a hatchet, and a sword. I don't have access to gold, so for the moment we are going to make every single cast from clay. This is actually really boring to watch, so let me finish that, then I'll be right back. So it's been a very long time later, and finally, we have the parts that we are going to need. You might also notice that I have made a hammer and a broad axe. Also the plates and the binding, but you know, because basically the recipe for the tool forge from Tinker's Construct has not been changed, and we have plenty of iron, and all we need is seared bricks. And my horse ran away? Why? It is perfectly okay, we only need 12 pieces of sand and 12 pieces of... that's andesite. Yes, as I was saying, 12 pieces of gravel. So in this mod pack, the way that you make grout is through the millstone. While the grout is being prepared, at least we can focus on making some of our tools. Also, you should remember that we are not incredibly rich, so we're going to make the tool rods out of wood. Later on, we're going to change it, but for now, that will do. So literally I made everything except the pickaxe head. It's okay, we can start with the hatchet. The binding will be out of copper because that will give us experience and the head will be out of iron because that's the best material we have. The sword is going to be slightly different because it is going to be made out of iron but we are also going to give it a bone white guard because that will give it fractured and it should do more damage. We have our blocks of iron, we have seared bricks, and we can get a tool forge. We are going to make a hammer, and for these guys, I actually invested in iron. And we also need to make a broad axe. So, chopping down trees should be much easier, yes? Yeah, I would like to admit that this was not a perfect example, because it's a very tall tree. So generally speaking, mining has been made so much easier for us. And just out of curiosity, do you do more damage? Yes, I just went to get some lava and then I noticed there's gold down here. So we might as well try and test our new tools. Yes, gold. With the hammer, this is super easy. I just wanted to check at which point do we get access to lapis and it seems at this age. So we should be able to put fortune on these guys so that whenever I'm looking for coal, at least we can use the fortune. When I was mining for iron, it took me 45 minutes. This took three minutes. <laughs> And we have so much gold. I was wondering where I can find some lapis and it seems it's literally under our base. But I think it's extremely deep. Because I was trying to prospect from the surface and it seems to be more than 48 blocks. Yes, lapis. Oh, you get more than one. Nice. It was not a super huge lapis vein, but I think we have enough. The lapis vein was down here and there was only one rock which indicated that it is going to be there. Because it seems that since it was close to my home, I broke most of them. Oh, I should not have broken that, right? <laughs> okay. You cannot apply any tool modifiers at this time. Further progression is needed. Okay. Alright guys, in between the cutscenes, I kept myself very busy. Finally, I did manage to make a farm. Can we jump from these guys? Oh yeah, we can. That's not very good, because I thought they act like fences. <laughs> anyway, I did manage to make a farm, and we are going to use three of these farmlands for hemp, because we are going to need a lot of hemp. We're going to need one of them for wheat, potatoes, and cotton. And you might notice that I fell in love with Primal Core, because these slats are amazing. 
They make it look like an actual farm. When I was cutting down the trees in order to make a farm, I did find a rustic bee. The problem is, apparently I lost it. <laughs> anyway, uh, I did make some apiaries and if we find bees again, that should help us with plant growth. And I don't know what is the range of these guys, but we're gonna put them over here, in the center. This should solve our situation for food, for string, and for hemp so we can make as much ropes as we want. I was also thinking that since we're producing food over here, we might as well try to make a very small barbecue hut. It's actually not going to be anything fancy or something, it's just going to be a 7x7 so that we can have a little bit of food. And we're going to use my new favorite block. It's just incredibly difficult to place them. If you guys remember from the first episode, there used to be a flame grilled whopper, which apparently provides fire for our barbecue. So now that we are relatively rich, I was thinking maybe we use them. So I did make some storage crates, we put them over there, then we put our hopper, and it does make smoke. <laughs> so nice. And we put our grill. It would have looked much better if it was one block higher. Well, it does look slightly more decent, but the problem with these hoppers is you cannot put another hopper under them. So it doesn't really work. <laughs> So I have to rearrange that later on. But the thing is, I also wanted to tell you guys that uh, you leave me a lot of comments about how to operate these horses, the buffaloes, and also how to find ores. And the thing is, since I'm slightly ahead in making the videos than uh, what I'm uploading on YouTube, it's not that I'm not listening to you guys, it's just that there is going to be a little bit of delay. So I did use path blocks for this guy and it's working much faster and I'm also going to try the buffaloes very soon. But I was hoping that before we get to these things, we should go to the swamp so that we would be able to get the portal to the between lands. And if you're wondering why am I walking around, I'm still looking for my horse. I don't have enough leather in order to make an extra saddle, so this time we're gonna walk. It is literally a one day trip because we left early in the morning and now the sun is setting and we have arrived at our destination. Yes, it's just over here. Very good. Did someone spawn? Are you the one? Yes. Well, we got one piece. I'm thinking they spawn more often than they should, but we got two pieces. Oh, we have grape seeds. We can make wine. That is the third piece. I think. I was just checking. This is an achievement, right? Yes. And this one also got unlocked. I think that was the final piece. I think. Yes, it is. So we should be able to make our talisman. I love this animation. So now that we have the key, we can go back home. I don't want the portal to be right next to our base, so I'm going to set it up over here. And I'm guessing we just right click. Yes, I love this tree. Generally speaking, I love between lands, but I have no idea how anything works. And since there is no point of taking our armor or food or anything, we're gonna go naked. Oh, and by the way, the reason that we have to go to the between lands, which is important for us, is that we're going to require the middle gems. One of them is for the smeltery controller, and the other one is for the seared furnace. See you in heaven. This is not creepy at all. Yes, we have arrived. Oh, this is a very nice spawn. We didn't spawn in water for the first time. We need to get some sticks and they are walking really fast. <laughs> I should have at least brought a sword. They're everywhere. And I would like to mention that so far I haven't died. And if we die over here, it is going to be my first death. That looks beautiful but I don't know what it is. Oh, and by the way, I'm actually trying to find a Whitwood stick, but uh, I'm not being very lucky. What the? Okay. Yes, I have found leaves. This should give me sticks. Do you think we can kill him? It seems we can. I think there's a slight problem with the between lands in this mod pack, and that is you will not get a log. So we have to go a little bit cheaty and at least get an ax. And we also take our atlas. So can I get wood right now? Hopefully. Yes. I did not want to go cheaty this time, but unfortunately in this mod pack, if you punch logs, you will not get anything. So we can make a crafting table and I'm guessing we should be able to make an axe. And I do understand that was a pickaxe. This one is an axe and one sword. We got rotten food. Thank you. And I'm guessing we don't need you anymore. If we manage to find one more swamp hag, then we will have enough bones so that we can upgrade our pick. Are you going to go and bring your friends? I'm not sure if this is a very good idea or not, but we're gonna go and check this one out. Lishan. What? This is a block of octine. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea why we deserve to get a block of octine at the start, but uh, I'm not complaining. There is one more over here. And correct me if I'm wrong, these guys should provide you with some armor? He's powerful, but slow, which is good. Three pieces. Very nice. That's not good. We are also looking for sap, and this is the one. It just takes a very long time to break, and this should help us a little bit with decay. 
So here's the deal. Our atlas is not functioning in the between lands, so we should not get that far, because otherwise I have no means of getting back. At least for the moment until we start getting the map. Angler tooth. Oh, we can make arrows. Nice. I did try my best in order to find an opening so that we would be able to find sulfur and some stone, but I'm not being very lucky. So I'm assuming the best thing that we can do is that we just dig down. I just gathered some wheat so that we can make ladders. We can have six. Okay, that's not bad. We also take some light sources with us because it's going to be dark. Oh, we found slimy bone. Very good. I just realized it must be really dark for you guys to see. So here is some lights. You cannot put it down. Can I put it down like this? Yes. And we have also found sulfur. Torches in the between land actually cost less because in the overworld, you will get two per recipe. This time, you will get four, which is really good. So we might as well use between land torches in the overworld. But now that we have some between land stone, we should be able to make a furnace. And since it's incredibly cheap, we can just upgrade it into a double furnace. And you go over there. I did manage to find some snails and we can have decent food relatively so the octane that we found can be used in order to make tools there is another metal in the between lands called simarite which can be used in order to make armor so instead of using bones we can just use octane and we just throw away these ones let us also get a few chests because i have a ton of garbage and i think we can make one piece of armor maybe more we make the helmet because the helmet looks cool enter a cave where's the cave oh there's the cave okay <laughs> Oh, we also found Simorite. Nice. The main problem that we have is that we do not have enough food. So we just need to get some resources and then get back to the surface. Should I jump? Yeah, I think we should jump. You're doing your mining and you just hear weird noises all the time. We did get some extra pieces of bone and we can have a full set of armor. I would like to remind you guys that there is a very high chance that we would not be able to get the middle gems today, but we are going to try and at least get ourselves geared up. So let us say by some chance we are going to find the aqua middle gem. We are going to need a purifier in order to get the gem itself. And in order to make a purifier, we need octane. Ah, here is our purifier. We also need to craft a bucket because we are going to need swamp water. And I think this is it. Yes, and you go in there. I have to wait for daytime so that we would be able to find the gem. What is that noise? We can also make a bed. It will not make it daytime, but I should be able to set my spawn. Yes. I would assume that we are in a swamp biome, so if we go into the water, we should be able to find the middle gem. Yes, I found one. The crabs don't really like me. I think there's another one. Yes, aqua gem. Well, technically speaking, that was very lucky and we have everything we're going to need. But if we manage to find one more, I think we should be able to make a map. Yes, I found another one. We got all of them. Whoops. Who was that? I wanted to start making a map as well, but unfortunately, we're going to need dried bark. And that is not something that I could find on this island. This is why I made a boat and we're going to go on a very small adventure. Just in case, you do work, right? Yes, it does work. Good. Controlling this boat especially if you're going backwards, is incredibly difficult. I think we should also mark our path with torches because I don't want to get lost over here. I'm poisoned by something and I don't know what it is. Oh, it's that one. Okay, this is the bark that we're looking for. We just need three pieces and we're done. Hello, how are you? I think we found another middle gem. Very good. So I would assume that finding them in the night is much easier. Actually, once you get the hang of this, this is pretty fun. Alright guys, here's the deal. We're going to record the Oko in order to make the smeltery controller and we're going to need the red one in order to make the seared furnace. So we're going to use the green one in order to make a map. And if we need the green one for anything, we do have an extra one anyway. So let us see where we are. Uh -huh. I think we should continue our exploration of the between lands later on because it's raining, there's lightning and I'm not fully geared up. We do have the map, we have a starter base and that's fine. We just take our atlas and leave everything else, except the boat and you. Alright guys, I'm back from the between lands. Here is our seared furnace and here is the smeltery controller. And here are two seared bricks. And once we get the smeltery up and running, our life will be so much easier. Why do I have an extra heart? Weird. Anyway guys, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. Bye bye.